hi guys so this video is about how i got my malaysian visa approved i got my malaysian e-visa approved in just two working days and that is so simple imagine how i did it first of all you need to get all your document that you need to process and they tell you so you got to get your flight ticket you have to book your flight ticket you need to uh, book um, your hotel uh, your hotel reservation you book it you can book these ones without necessarily paying for reservation you can reserve them and you can do that on bookings.com so i booked my uh, accommodation on bookings.com and my flight to on um uh, vietnam airlines yes you can book and reserve and get the pdf you can use that to apply for the visa now when you get the visa then you book the original you confirm them so i did this with the help of uh, my brother kelvin kelvin and nigerian was the one who actually took me through the process and how to do it so in this video i'm going to teach you how to do same and get it without having to pay two hundred dollars two hundred dollars to any connection man you can do it yourself at the comfort of your house and get it approved without any problem so guys if you love this content don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my videos So guys, to apply for a Malaysia e-visa, there are two kinds of visa. There are the single entry and multiple entry. So one type in Malaysia e-visa application just into Google and then Malaysia visa, the site comes. Choose that one, type on it and this is how it opens. So you are supposed to create an account when you see this. That is if you are a first time user and you haven't started any application yet. So. Try to create an account and then verify that account by using your email and then your uh, password. Create an account and verify. Then when it opens, now when you get to the Malaysian e-visa site, this is the site. So first and foremost is you need to upload your passport picture. Now the maximum picture to, should be two megabytes. You should select it and then you crop it very well. So there are instructions actually, you have a, a white background and there are measurements. I'll just open it. So these are the instructions. One, it says the photo size to be 35 millimeters wide and 50 millimeters uh, with a height. Yes. Yeah, so your passport picture should be cropped to that 35 millimeters at the width and 50 millimeters with a height. And it shouldn't be without border. It should be taken within the last six months and like that it follows so this is how it's going to be you make sure you have that done remember if you don't do it that way you can't proceed from that you can you can actually proceed from here but when you get to the uh, final part you'll be made to make the corrections okay so these are all the instructions after doing this move on to your passport bio data now there are also instructions for so i have uh, nicely done uh, my passport picture with all the white background and all the information all the detailed instruction given so i've uploaded now i go on to my passport bio data and these are the instructions for the bio data it says that scan only the first page or the first two pages and it also goes with instructions it shouldn't be blur especially if your passport by data becomes blur you are likely to refuse you the visa then you select it so i have done that nicely i've already scanned it so i'm going to upload my passport bio data i'll try to <laughs> i'll try to cover it a bit yeah so that nobody gets advantage of it so then when i'm done so these are the instructions on how to do it now i come to fill my personal details so that's my full name there and my date of birth i feel that and then you choose the type of visa you want whether single entry or multiple entry is it's best you choose a single entry if you choose the multiple entry they will ask you to provide a letter of invitation some a whole lot of letter that will get you confused and you wouldn't know how to apply so choose a single entry if you have first time uh if it's your first time applying for the malaysian visa then 
I come to the next one, which is the passport, the uh, travel document. You choose international passport. You add your telephone number, your purpose, your passport number, and then you come and then add your flight ticket and proof of journey. Now, the proof of journey, you are going to add your flight ticket and your bank statement together. That is where the catch is. The proof of journey, you add your flight statement, your flight ticket and your bank statement together to make one document don't forget to don't forget about that you do that and then you come and then select it after you making it after you make it one document it becomes a pdf so you come and then you choose it i've named mine as a flight ticket uh, uh okay so i've named my the, the document i've named mine as a, so they say provide the original ticket but you you do it that way okay so flight tickets flight tickets yes it's a combination of my flight ticket and my proof of funds and then you come to accommodation so you have to book an accommodation in advance we have a way of doing it that you won't pay and then you also make that into one the pdf and then you choose uh, select that one as well and then when you are done you come to add the document now that document you can put together your passport data your flight ticket uh, your proof of fund and then if you have uh, a work permit you add it or a TLC, you add it together and then you make or you name all of them other then you add that one as well then invitation or company dispatch letter if you have this two you add your um your 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 appointment letter you just scan your appointment letter and then a call contract the appointment letter or your contract and then fix it there at this point if your passport your picture if you did not carve it well they are really going to force you to carve it well so that you get the right size and the right measurement for it and then also your passport by data you should also make sure that you took a very good picture which is not uh, blurry uh, which everything can be seen and that has all the uh, four corners clear then you move on to proceed so that's it ensure that everything is correct and genuine so i'll proceed and this is all my details so after you go through all your details to see that everything is intact everything is correct then you come to payment section so payment section you are going to choose how you want to pay if you want to pay with a visa you put in your visa details and it will be processed for you to make payment so you just uh, deduct it directly from your uh, visa card that you attach to the e-visa payment and they will notify you they will quickly send you an email to alert you that they've received your payment and that you're going to hear from them within two working days so just after two working days and boom i received a message that my visa was approved so the process is so simple and easy just follow it and get your e-visa and the cost is just uh, 600 vnd 600 vnd 600 vnd which is less than even 1 million vnd yeah vietnam done guys if you've enjoyed this video so far please do me a huge favor and hit the like button and subscribe these videos take quite a long time to make so if you could help me out i'll love you forever thank you all for your support